President Trump's first campaign rally of 2020 is two days away at the Huntington Center in Toledo. And no doubt the situation in Iran will be forefront on just about everyone's mind. 13 ABC's Melissa Vage has more on how the crisis may affect the president's visit. Melissa. Leon, Diane, uh, the pres doors open here at the Huntington Center at 3 o'clock. The president expected to make his appearance at 7 o'clock. And as you mentioned, a lot of the talk is expected to be about the unrest in the Middle East. A sold-out crowd expected to gather at the Huntington with heightened security and major foreign policy on the minds of many. Well, Trump has got to win Ohio to put together the electoral map to win the presidency. Dr. Mark Simone is an associate professor of political science at Bowling Green State University. He says while Lucas County votes Democratic, the surrounding counties in northwest Ohio are Republican. Having him speak at length about this openly is important because I, I, as far as I know, Trump is not planning an Oval Office talk to the nation about it. Mm -hmm. That's not his style. So he'll do it in the campaign rally context. And there's a whole lot of voters who want to know about the fallout from the Iranian tensions. I asked Simone if this will lead to war. He says probably not. Because neither country, both domestically and in their foreign policy, would benefit from that. A view shared by Dr. Joel Voss, professor of political science at the University of Toledo, specializing in Middle East politics and terrorism. He says President Trump's threats to attack Iran's cultural sites present a greater danger. That type of rhetoric makes Iranians even angrier at the United States. Not the Iranian government, but Iranian people, right, who generally just don't want to be in a war, just like Americans, right? We don't want to be in a war. Now... Later this afternoon, President Trump backing off the claim that he would attack cultural sites. So at least that part of the threat seems to be alleviated for now. Reporting live, Melissa Vage, 13 ABC Action News. Back to you.